comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail, hippity hopping Easter's on its way. Aw, oh, poor bunny. Nobody told him that the church is closed today. That's okay. We'll still have our Easter parade anyway. In your Easter bonnet With all the frills upon it You'll be the grandest lady In the Easter parade I'll be all in clover And when they look you over I'll be the proudest fellow The photographers will snap us And you'll find that you're in the road of review Oh, I could write a sonnet About your Easter bonnet And of the girl I'm taking To the Easter parade After the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. When will things get back to normal? It's a question we ask ourselves every day. We want to go back to the way things were before, before everything came to a complete stop. That Easter morning, when Mary and Mary went to the tomb, they went not expecting that things would go back to normal, but still not knowing what things lied ahead. Easter is the dawn of a new day. And so doesn't that mean that we wake up and the past is the past and a new day is upon us? Doesn't that mean that we wake up and everything's like the way it was before? Easter isn't an eraser. Easter doesn't change the past, but Easter makes all things new. Jim Wallace wrote this last week that Easter was never meant to go back to normal, but it is always to make all things new. We aren't supposed to go back to the way we were. And that's actually good news for us. Sweet is the song, Sweet is the song I'm, singing I'm singing today. I am redeemed. I am redeemed. Trouble and sorrow have vanished away. I have been redeemed. 
you know, before we didn't even realize the, the joy and the freedom that we had. We didn't even understand and value the way that people work so hard to keep our shelves stocked in our grocery stores and, and our ERs running smoothly. All of the invisible occupations that we took for granted. We shouldn't go back to the way things were before. On Good Friday, two days ago, there was no Holy Friday service. There was no fish fry. And yet there I was with five other people standing at the graveside of someone who died unexpectedly, keeping our six feet distance from one another, each of us with masks on. And I felt so restricted in it. I wanted to be able to reach out and just comfort the daughter. And it's something that I'll never take for granted again. On Good Friday, Christ's love and compassion is extended to us that I can't take away the pain, but that I stand there in the midst of it with you. In Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground, through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, when striving cease. My comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand, in Christ alone. understanding of what it is to stand in solidarity with one another. God makes all things new. When things seem to fall away, when things seem to change, when a door seems to close, when the restrictions seem to be so much, we know then have to count on that awareness that divine love is conquering all. The events of these last few weeks have caused a lot of new beginnings. Our ladies at Centenary have begun a sewing project of sewing masks. They've also created these bears of hope that they're sending to refugees. 
through the cooperation of the West River Area Churches, we were able to feed thousands of people through the work of the Maryland Food Bank and our churches. May we see with eyes anew that the cycle of moving from orientation of life to disorientation into new orientation is a cycle of life and a cycle of faith that God promises to walk with us on. Let us pray. Lord God, we give thanks on this Easter morning that you who have made yourself known to us, you who have lived our life and died our death and rose for our sake, that you are triumphant, that divine love conquers all things, that nothing can separate us through the love in which we share with your son, Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray saying, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And that squeak squeak was my dog's toy while I am saying the Lord's Prayer. Pray about everything. Worry about nothing. Walk in faith. Find a friend for the journey, for we are blessed to be a blessing. Let us go now in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.